Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm gonna give um, Facebook a minute to sort of do their job and, and find the people out there who are on Facebook right now and then I'm gonna share what I have to share today, which is not a scary message in case you're wondering and you're like popped onto this and you saw me say I'm here sharing something. I'm not sick, there's nothing wrong in my life, it's only good things I wanna share today. Um, so I didn't mean to like scare people with that headline when I wrote that, but I do want to share something personal and it's important to me. It's important that I get this out there um, because I want to talk about my life's purpose and why the heck that matters to you and to all of the people who follow me, whether they are clients or friends or um, in whatever way you, you all know me. So. Um, I just tagged some people, uh, if you don't want to be tagged, you're welcome to pull your name off of there, but I just tagged some people because I want people to sort of um, listen in. So, um, I really want to share my purpose statement for why I do what I do and, um, and hope that that resonates with people so people really get the deeper reason um, that, I'm, that I'm here in, in the world. Um, because that's ultimately to help as an acupuncturist and kettlebell trainer. Um, and I feel like my purpose is not, it's not weight loss, it's not kettlebells, it's not acupuncture. It's to facilitate inner and outer healing for you and for everybody I work with. Um, so you can feel more confident and so you can live out your life's purpose. Um, and that is my big sort of profound mission statement in my life. I might use treatment training and nutrition as the conduit for that healing but really my whole point of being my whole reason I run this business with Abby um, the whole reason I create 39 minute workout and wellness and the reason I do what I do um, is because I'm deeply deeply passionate about help, helping you guys heal and I really truly mean that from like an inner and outer perspective you could say what I do is help women lose weight that is like, um, I don't have a good analogy, that's like a pithy tiny little piece of, of what it is I do. My whole purpose for wanting to serve you, if you're watching this right now, because I want to serve everybody I work with or touch on out in the world, is helping you find healing. Now, I do that through the guys, the uh, through kettlebells and acupuncture nutrition. Um, because look, what I see in the world right now is a lot of people with closed up blinders, in pain, living in damage control, what I call your status quo, walking around, wanting so freaking badly to be alive, right? I mean, I don't think there's many people alive who don't want to thrive and freaking love their life and be happy and healthy and productive and all those things and be who it is you're here on this planet to be, but so effing held back by, by running around like a, you know, like a mouse on a wheel, by living with emotional and physical pain, by not feeling confident and healthy in ourselves, by not doing the proactive stuff to be better and thrive better. And so that's what my mission is, is to help you thrive in those ways. I really want to help restore confidence in you, if I work with you directly. Um, and find healing so you can live your life's purpose. I believe each of you has a reason of being just like mine. And if all of us do that, we are doing we are doing a lot to make this world a better place. So how the hell did I get into this? When I was a kid, I always remember like if I watched Rocky, like Rocky sticks out or Karate, like I watched it for the workouts. I, I was always obsessed with movements. I did sports in school, but I was just obsessed with physical movement. It, it's like the thing that lights me up. And if you know me, in 2001, I took that to a whole new level and I hiked the whole Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. And I really took that movement and like did something crazy with my body. And then I come back to Maryland and um, I also want to say like, could job training and job placement in high school be any dumber? Like I think people told me I'd be good at math. Like. I seriously don't understand that. Um, I like my passion my entire life has been movement and the body and understanding how the body works. And what I freaking love is I didn't know who I was going to work with when I started these crazy kettlebells. And little did I know I'd ascend, uh, eventually run this business with really helping women over 40 thrive, lose weight, firm up, feel crazy confident, 
like be an acupuncturist, help them get out of pain, both physical and emotional. Like that is not where I thought I was going to go in the world. That's definitely not where my high school guidance counselor was, was, was pushing me into, but thank God I didn't really, um, <laughs> Rocky rules. Exactly. Billy, um, especially Rocky three. I freaking love the workouts in that place in Russia. That was actually Montana. Cause I just looked it up. Um, but I like, where the heck was I going? My career, like, I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do until I was on the Appalachian Trail. I literally, I was talking to somebody about this recently. I was hiking one day, and most of the time I was with people, and this one day I was alone, hiking over this mountain, and like, boom, like a wash over me, I realized I want to help people heal in some way, shape, or form. And I shit you not, this, that like month I get home from the trail and move back to Maryland, my mom tells me, go check out Ty Sophia, this crazy acupuncture school. And all of a sudden, I'm at this school going, these are my people, this is where I need to be. Like, I didn't know what in the world I wanted to do with my life. I really did not. And I find acupuncture, and 2004, 2005, I start treating clients, and then a couple years later, I find these crazy bowling balls with a handle on them called a kettlebell, and then all of a sudden, I'm creating this business. And if you look at it from the outside, like, maybe people think, oh, he's just, just, just freaking another weight loss dude. And, like, I resent that a little bit, because, frankly, a lot of people need to lose weight, and it's really good for them to do it, and it's, like, incredibly... Uh, positive to their life to lose some weight if they can actually keep it off and like I think we diminish the value of losing weight if it's if it's holding us back from feeling our best if it's holding us back from being healthy if it's holding us back from being as confident as we should be I don't actually think it's a negative to say I help women lose weight I actually think and if you agree with that please give me a heart or a comment or how I've impacted your life I would love to hear that it would mean a lot to say like you know I'm all for body positive movement, and the flip side of it is there are a lot of people who will feel more, feel more body positive if they just take care of themselves. So the reason kettlebells, and I friggin' love them, and my clients have fallen in love with them, and, and is because it brings out this inner badass in you. It asks you to become more aware of your body, more present, and more powerful than you thought possible. I love the process of starting a brand new client you know, maybe a woman in her 50s who's had kids and done the work thing and does the busy mom thing and so taking care of everybody for 15, 20 years. Come in here and stare at the weights I plop in front of her and go, what the, just give me that look of like, the fuck are you doing like putting, sorry, I just said that word. Um, what the heck are you doing putting that in front of me? And then in like a month or two, they realize how freaking badass they are and how capable of so much more than they ever, ever thought. And you know this experience if you worked with me. How, like, what you thought was possible in the beginning is nothing compared to where you are in three months. The kind of healing that is created, and yes, it's healing, by unlocking that inner beast in you is profound in all walks of life. I am amazed at all of the women and men that I've worked with who, months into working out with me, not only have shed 20, 25, 30 pounds, not only have firmed up and feel better about themselves, but then take that on and realize bigger and better things in their lives. I think about Karen, who had breast cancer a year or two ago, really thought that she might die, comes through this thing like a friggin' champ, wakes up to all of her power, starts working with Komen, starts doing these crazy cool things in her life, and is just rocking, thriving. And like so many other examples of women who's like, Fitness and acupuncture have been this conduit to get them out of physical pain, have been this conduit to get them out of emotional, not just pain, but stuckness, like place of absolutely just feeling so stuck in their life. And acupuncture has this crazy tool of, of showing you the barriers you put in front of yourself don't actually exist and you go right around them or you just smash right over top of them. And so that's why acupuncture and kettlebells are the two things that I do. That's my life's purpose to help you find the confidence through healing that will bring you to your life's purpose. I want each of you to be the best damn version of yourself. Not in a corny way, but in a true, real, authentic way. So when I see my clients that I work with thrive and take on whole new levels of their life, I'm super excited for them because like that's who you're meant to be.
And that shit gets covered when we're in physical pain. If you have chronic back or knee pain, you don't think about working out, losing weight, being in the clothes you feel more confident, being more in love with your husband, yada yada, all, all this stuff that come, because you're in pain. When you have extra weight on you, when you don't take care of yourself, when you're not eating well or working out, a lot of things are in the way blocking you from being what it is you really want to be in the world, right? And so when we facilitate this, like I said, my purpose, facilitating inner and outer healing so you can feel more confident and live out your life's purpose, um, everything starts to pull together. So am I a workout guy? Am I a trainer? Sort of. Am I an acupuncturist? Sort of. But what I really am is somebody who helps people heal in a profound, deep inner and outer level so you can be really, truly what you are to be in this world. I think you find more access to to love and, and serve people. I think you find more access to be who you want to be in this world in a totally, completely authentic way. And yes, do I think exercising and getting treatment do, does those things? Hell yes, because I've seen it a thousand times over in the last 10 years. So if you have been a client of mine that's been served by our work, maybe you'll just leave a note after this and say like what it is that you specifically have gotten out of that work. Um, I would love you if you feel like you have a friend who sort of needs help, like what I was saying, they're, they're maybe stuck in life, uh, maybe they're in pain, maybe they are frustrated with their fitness, um, maybe they have said to you, I really wanna lose pounds but I'm so sick of the diets. Maybe if you would tag, um, there, tag them in this or share it with them. That'd be that'd be really cool. Um, and I just love to hear personal things that people want to leave. Um, so much simpler than machines, benches, and all that stuff. Absolutely, Billy. I completely agree with you. I think what people miss when they look at this compared to a gym is that they go, "Well, I can just get a gym." And it's like, who the hell is having fun in a gym? Not a lot of people, especially the clients I work with. Not a lot of people are going in a gym creating this like puddle of sweat, awesome, alive, invigorated feeling in their body. No, they're going and they're lifting some weights or they're using some machines and then they're getting on a cardio machine, blah, 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 not getting results, going home. They're bored. They're bored. They're uninspired. They're not pushing to their level. If you were here earlier and I talked about how when, we, when clients come in and they sit those first weights down in front of them, they're always like, what do you want me to swing 22 pounds and then like three months later they're swinging 44 or 53 pounds and it's like yeah because you are way more badass than you ever thought um so that's that's what i wanted to say for today i hope it resonated i hope if it did please leave a comment or hit a hit the heart button or something just to let me know that you got this message and it um was one that you found value in um and i just you know want to continue to, to be out there and helping people get through their their walls in their life that are stopping them to live the most authentic and alive uh, version of themselves. So that's what I'm here to do. Um, you could call me an acupuncturist and a kettlebell trainer, but re what I really am is a, is a healer in this world. That's the deeper, higher level work that I really am here to do. So um, I'm going to keep on doing what I do. I'm going to keep on living with fire and passion and doing... Um, doing this work because I think it's incredibly valuable work. Um, I find myself really like pissed when I see the weight loss industry just pimping BS diet nutrition stuff and, and, and workout stuff. I see workouts out there that parade out these 20 year old models and show their you know amazing results and I'm like because she's a 20 year old model and she has I, I mean it's like I don't mean to diminish somebody having to work that hard but like when you help a 52 year old mother of three who hasn't taken care of herself in 15 years and she gets stronger, loses weight, feels awesome about herself, gets back on the clothes she loves, that's a lot bigger transformation story. It's making a much more profound um, change in their life. So there is a lot of fitness and nutrition stuff out there that just kind of burns me up because I'm like, it's baseless. It doesn't have teeth to it. It's not changing lives at a profound level. And a lot of it is really, especially around diets, my God, just keeping you in this loop of suffering, they call it, right? Where it's like the yo-yo of gain, lose, gain, lose. To where you hate the concept, you hate the idea of another freaking diet or workout because you're like, God damn it, I tried that. I don't want to go down that route anymore. So um, that's what I'm here to change. I'm here to simplify that whole process and help you become more alive. That's what I'm here to change. So thank you all for your kind words. I just saw... Um, Cindy said something very nice. Thank you. Work out all of our life's transition to working out with 
me and Abby for eight months, never felt stronger, more motivated, and uh, in your workout, constantly in fields. So, um, that's awesome. Thank you, Cindy. Those are great words. And Cindy's a great one because she was, she has been a gym person her whole life and came to me, um, when was it, like a year ago? I don't even know. And really just like was at a stage where maybe she wanted more results and has taken it to a whole new level. And that's what I see a lot of my clients. Some of my clients are the haven't been in a gym in 15, 20 years and so confused and and unsure and scared frankly and then others are like in pretty good shape but just are like I want more I want better results than I'm able to pull for myself in the gym um so that's it for now guys I think that is I don't want to make this any longer than it is already but thank you all so much for for just being followers of mine if you're a client of mine thank you so much for being part of that I hope that what Abby and I are doing, that our mission is ringing clear to you. I hope you're getting, you know, reaping the benefits of, of that work and that passion that we bring towards this. If I can help you in any specific way with your fitness, um, with your, to get you out of pain physically, emotionally, any, any way that you, that I can help you, please let me know, please reach out. Um, that's what we're here to do. Okay. So thanks so much. And I will see you all next time.